Oh, the top of the morning to ya. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the trends. As always, oh, I am the Trent. Ladies and gentlemen, I survived. I survived Dave's Hot Chicken. If you haven't seen my Dave's Hot Chicken video, that was hell. And just before we get going with everything today, I want you guys to know, I have to tell you this. If you guys ever decide that you're going to go and do the Reaper at Dave's Hot Chicken, just know one thing. When that sucker is going this way, that baby is going out. Whoa! Whoa! Jazz hands. Intense, baby. Let's leave it alone. Let's leave it alone. All right. So today is St. Patrick's Day. A couple of things I want to tell you. Number one, I'm a little disappointed in the fast food realm out here. I don't know if it's a disrespect to the Irish people, which I certainly hope it's not. Even though I'm not Irish. I like the Irish people very much. Pretty resilient group of men and women. Very resilient. Um, there's not a lot of fast food items out there. There is donuts at... Um, where the hell the place is up here? Oh, you know the donut place that everybody goes to. They have green they have green donuts there, but I hate donuts. I don't like donuts too much, guys. I know some of you, like Jordan and stuff, want us to do a, a, a food review in regard to uh, donut places. And we have a lot of donut places here in Oregon. I'm just not a huge fan of them. So I was thinking, once again, we're here. We're back at McDonald's because McDonald's has a new sauce. They have the savory chili sauce, and uh, I've never tried that. It's new. I thought we'd review it. I have not had Chicken McNuggets probably in, and I do not want to exaggerate, 30 years. So we'll see how those are. We'll give those a review. We will also do, because it's Lent, we're going to do a filet of fish sandwich. I have not had a filet of fish sandwich from McDonald's forever. I don't. I can't even tell you what they taste like anymore. Uh, and then, since we do a lot of chicken sandwiches on this channel, I did get, because we haven't done one of their chicken sandwiches, I did get a spicy deluxe chicken sandwich from McDonald's. So we will review those. But I want to talk about, today I want to talk about St. Patrick's Day. The last video with Dave's Hot Chicken... I was so, I was so wrapped up, so enthralled with uh, getting myself prepared. As you recall, the hair was pulled back very tightly, uh, and a, a young Ruth Gordon, or a, 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 a Beta Ginsburg, R Ruth Beta Ginsburg fashion, very pulled back uh, tightly. I was in warrior mode. I, I took on the sandwich. I conquered the sandwich. Go watch that video if you haven't seen it. It's depressing and odd, but it's fun. Uh, and so I was in that mode, and I neglected to tell you guys. I neglected to tell you. I got the rubber bands on my teeth when I went to the dentist, and the winner is... Oh, when Irish eyes are smiling green! What do you think? Green. Green was the winner. Green is winner. So we got green rubber bands on them, baby. Fantastic. There you go. Also, I want to say, uh, not only is today St. Patrick's Day, and I want to wish all of you St. Patrick's. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Keep in mind, I did get something green. I don't have any green on, except for the teeth. I did get a shamrock shake. You know my feelings about these. I've, done, I've reviewed this before. It's pretty good. Liked it better than the Oreo McFlurry. We'll give this a little taste. Not bad. But also, I have to give a happy birthday shout out before we get started with the food. Uh, today is my boy's 12th birthday. Um, Rudy is 12 years old today. 
and um, Rudy, when I held you in my arms 12 years ago, I thought you were, I thought you were the most beautiful thing I had ever seen in my life. And to this day, uh, you still are. And you are my boy. You are the best boy a man could have. And in my opinion, the best son anybody could ask for. And for those of you that don't know who Rudy is, Rudy is my dog. Rudy is my 12-year-old, absolutely beautiful um, Jack Russell Terrier. And today's his birthday, and I'm going to show you what I got him. I got him some birthday gifts. I want to show them to you. I got him this. Look at this. He will love this. This is kind of like, uh, I don't know what the hell this thing is, right? I do know it was 35 bucks. I know that. Uh, but there's a squeaking noise. Got this for him. Got him his favorite dog food that he loves. And I got him... Baby boy Rudy, I got him another couple squeaky toys, and I'm going to get him some Five Alive stuff, and I'm going to get him his favorite dinner tonight. So, we will have a little birthday party for Rudy later on this evening, celebrating the Irish as well as Rudy. So, hey, how about we get to some food, all right? All right, let's do it. Let's try, let's try this new thing. I don't know a lot about... Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Yes, the food tray set nicely. Today is working out. So, um, first of all, the McFlurry right here. Let's go over the receipt. Can you believe this shit? I actually have a receipt this time. He heavens to Murgatroyd. I'm prepared. What is the world coming to? So on this right here, baby, uh, by the way, I think I'm going, for the rest of the day, I'm going as, uh, my new name is going to be Rally O'Cally O'Malley O'Schmidt, the drunken Irish whore. Maybe just Rally O'Cally O'Malley O'Schmidt. That's what we'll go by. That's what I'm going to go by for the rest of the day. By the way, Rudy has a sister, his sister from the same mother. Her name is Tallulah. She's Jack Russell Terrier, too. Her birthday is next month, and we'll have a birthday party for her. She'll be nine. And I named her after Tulula Bankhead, one of the all-time greatest sex vixens of all time. She liked to get it on. She got it on with Milton Berle, Frank Sinatra, uh, I think Joey Bishop. Uh, she is somebody that I would have very much liked to spend some time with. Uh, she's the kind of lady that I want to start at the front and work my way all the way to the back. Ooh, savage. So I named my little dog Tulula. Her name's Tulula Lou. She got a birthday coming up next month too, and we'll celebrate that. But let's get to the food, because that's why we're here. So this is the Shamrock Shake. It was $3.99. Uh, don't know the caloric intake in it. I think it's around, I think this, this is a medium. I think this was around 500. So that was $3.99 for that. We will taste this. We've, we've reviewed this before. Not bad. It's not bad. You know my feelings about milkshakes are not my all-time favorite thing in the entire world. But this is good. It's creamy. It's got uh, some whipped cream on top. It's not all that green, but it's green. It's green. It's smooth. This does not seem as minty as the last one did. So I actually prefer this one that I'm having. It's a little more vanilla, which I did. So let's get to, I got a 10 piece, 10 piece nugget. I've got, this is the new sauce. This is primarily why we're here. This is the uh, Wick Donald's it's upside down upside down boy you turn me inside out and round and round diana ross baby there you go wick donald's i'm assuming well, no i'm not assuming that stands for wicked wicked sauce and this is the savory chili sauce which has garlic chili 
ginger and garlic garlic chili ginger and primarily soy soy based soy sauce so we shall take a look at that we shall open this up ever so gently people ever so gently how is everybody doing how is your uh what are you doing for saint patrick's day what is going on lately? I, I, not a lot of like, I, there's not a lot of hype for St. Patrick's Day this year. I'm sick of it. I used to go out all the time for St. Patrick's Day. Shenanigans, green beer, drinks. I even had a green woman one time. It was very strange. It was very strange. Very erotic though. Very erotic. Anyway. Yeah, oh, I did, I did. I, 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 went, <laughs> I went to a bar one time on St. Patrick's Day several years ago with like four friends. I'm not going to name their names. And there was a girl there, and she had a ridiculously green hat on. And at one point in the night, I was wearing her green hat. It was really comical. I'm not going to get graphic. I'm not going to get caustic, but just keep in mind that night, uh, I spent a little time intimately with this woman. She was wearing the green hat. And during the love, the passion, I wore the green hat. One of my most proudest moments. One of my most proudest moments. And one of my most insane moments, too. I'm very proud of it. Also ashamed. Hmm. Interesting. Memories like the corners of a mind. Anyway, all right, wrong sandwich. What do we got here? Here, what the hell? Wait a minute, that's not mine. Okay, yeah, it is. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. The nuggets have not had nuggets. This is the ten-piece nugget. They look great. Look at that, people. Ten-piece nugget. Have not had nuggets. I don't think I've had nuggets since they were using partial dark meat with them. And they were delicious. But you know me, baby. You know the Trent. Loves the dark meat. Shout out Idris Elba. Shout out Laura London, baby. Mm. All right. Let's get to the sauce. This is the new sauce from McDonald's. It is the savory chili sauce that they uh the wicked mcdonald w upside down mcdonald sauce brand new limited time as always limited time let's try dipping oh wow okay Immediately, immediately, I'm tasting the soy. You you immediately taste a soy sauce on this. Oh yeah, mmm, very different, people. We've been to this McDonald's before. They don't have tabs, so. Just Coke Zero, so a little refreshment going down the throat ever so gently. I swear to you, though, McDonald's does have the best Diet Coke in the entire world. Let's try this again. These are quite good. This sauce is very good, actually. I love Asian food, and it really does have kind of a little bit of an Asian flair to it. I'm not tasting any, like, barbecue... I do taste the, oh yeah, I'm tasting the ginger now. But I'm definitely, when you first bite into it, you get a hit of that soy sauce, which sounds like it would be disgusting. But it's actually really good. Let's try this. Surgical bite on the nugget. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah, absolutely delicious. As I say, absolutely delicious. 
Let's indulge again. Very nice. Nicely done on that one, McDonald's. Magnifique to you. I should roll down the window and tell the peasants. Nicely done, peasants. Nicely done. Now, because it is Lent season, ladies and gentlemen, and we have done so many fish sandwiches, so far my favorite one has been from um, Arby's. That King Deluxe fish sandwich was delicious. That's been my favorite. Well, I haven't had one of these in a hot minute, but I don't recall them looking like this. This is extremely small. Uh, this is a very small fish sandwich right here. The filet is Pollock, fried golden. Seems like it has quite a bit of tartar sauce on it. Uh, and it does, it mm, does have what appears to be a very weak piece of cheese on the bottom there. So let's try this. This is the filet of fish from McDonald's. This, do I have a receipt for this? This was, I'll just tell you what everything was. Uh, the 10 piece nugget that I just had right there was $4.99. The filet of fish. Well, it doesn't say. 10 piece nugget. I don't know if they charged me for this. I don't think they did. Oh, I, th oh, I think this was $4.99 as well. Filet of fish. And then the spicy deluxe chicken sandwich that we're going to try was $5.79. The shamrock shake was $3.99. And the Diet Coke was $1.49. For a grand total on our beautiful St. Patrick's Day in the beautiful state of Oregon where the sun is shining was $17.51. So that is the receipt right there. Not a waiver this time like it was last time, but let's try the filet of fish. McDonald's filet of fish for Lent. Looks very basic. We'll see how flavor is. Shall we indulge? Let's. No napkins, of course. Got my trusty towel here. All right. <clears throat> okay. I'm going in for another bite on the filet of fish. That brioche bun on this is very soft. This is nothing new, right? The sandwich has been around forever. All the other places, the Popeyes, the Arby's, they come up with their fish sandwiches and they're good. But I am telling you guys, I don't know what it is. It's just Taco Bell has certain items like that. McDonald's has certain items like that. There is a certain specific taste to these kinds of food, right? Am I wrong? Again, you, as you all know, fast food is new to me. So I'm experiencing a lot of this stuff relatively new. Most of it I've had, you know, years ago as a little boy, not much. Can't really remember all of it. But this is, this is, this is delicious. It is flaky. It is flavorful. It is not pungent by any means, but it does have a strong taste to it. The tartar sauce is magnificent. The bun is excellent. High marks on this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a little marks right now. Those chicken nuggets were quite good. They're a little, um, a little too white meaty for me. I wish that there was a little more savoriness to the actual nugget itself. But that sauce was delicious. That uh, new McDonald's chili sauce. You guys really did a really good job with that. On a scale of 1 to 10, the nugget with the sauce, I'm going to give you an 
I am telling you though on this, just the flavor of this, right? Just the flavor of this filet of fish. I am giving this also a very high mark in my book, 8.5. For those of you, you know my scale, my scale and my scale is pretty, pretty tough. One to 10, this right here, this being a 10. Yes. One being lowest of likelihood that I would ever order it again. Both the nugget and the sandwich, both the nugget and the filet of fish, 8.5. The McFlurry, would I order this again? I don't like milkshakes. Flavor wise, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to give this a 6.5. It is definitely worth ordering if you like this kind of stuff. It's definitely worth it for you. For me, I'm not going to finish this. Um, I've had better milkshakes at other places. Uh, I'm going to give this a 6.5. Uh, it does get a recommendation. Anything above a 6 in my book gets a recommendation. So, with that. So, we will get to our last sandwich here. I just... And that is our. Oh, that's not it. Those. Here we go. <clears throat> We've got, because we have done so many chicken sandwiches on this channel, we are going to do a McDonald's chicken sandwich and see what we think of it. So this is the spicy deluxe chicken sandwich. So as you can see, it's got the, the filet there, spicy. It's got the shit all over the Jeep. Again, damn it, this poor Jeep and this that up there go out and spend seventy thousand dollars on a freaking jeep and you don't want to spill everything on it you know so we'll try this it's got that loose loose lettuce on it um tomato spicy sauce plenty of spicy sauce on it a little look right there let's give this a taste all right happy saint patrick's day doing a chicken sandwich My towel here. Mm. Not getting a lot of flavor from this. Get a piece of the chicken on its own here. Chicken is okay, not succulent. I am not getting any spice on this whatsoever. I am getting, I'm getting a lot of vegetable on this, tomato and everything that tastes like they've just been freshly, pardon me, that tastes like they've just been freshly washed, but not thoroughly dried. So there's a lot of moisture here. Let's let's try one more on this. I'm desperately trying to find something on here where there is any spice. Here's some pickle. Here is some spice. Here's some spicy sauce on this end. Let's let's do this. One final thing here. Okay. Definitely. Definitely not getting any heat from that. Um, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that chicken sandwich in comparison to the others like Dave's and Popeye's. I am gonna give that a four. I am not recommending that sandwich. I am by no means recommending that sandwich. That sandwich was watery. That sandwich tasted a bit uh, dry. And it also tasted like it was virtually flavorless. Not recommending that. 
So overall, McDonald's, you did pretty well. Your new sauce, your new uh, um, savory chili sauce, quite good. Your nuggets were quite good today. The filet of fish, magnifique. Happy Lent. And your McFlurry was good. Chicken sandwich was a letdown. Overall, putting all of those things into the equation with the 8.5s, the milkshake, and the sandwich, we're going to give everything for McDonald's overall. Our, our meal today, I would give a 7. I would recommend those items. I'm not going to recommend that chicken sandwich to you. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I guess this comes to another one, another end of our time together today. Uh, I hope you have an absolute, let me get a little bit of beverage. Here, I've got a little bit of the hiccup. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful St. Patrick's Day today. Hope you guys be safe when you're out there, though. You know, there's a on holidays. There's a lot of crazies out there, and you wanna you wanna just be careful. You know, you can make green beer at home too. So remember that. So uh, be safe out there. Have a good time. It is Sunday. It is beautiful out, and uh, I want you to know how much I love you. Wonderful, happy St. Patrick's Day again. Try McDonald's, especially try McDonald's new um, new uh, savory chili sauce. And let me know what you think of it. And let me know in the comments what you, if you've had it. And let me know what, what you think about it. Let me know what you think of my, my green braces too if you want to. So anyway, I guess we will see you next week with another food review. Leave some suggestions if you want something very specific coming up this Wednesday. And I would be more than happy to make sure that I can try to do that. The words of Gloria Estefan, anything for you, right, baby? Anything for you. But always in the words of the great Elvis Presley. We will meet you again. May God bless you. Adios. And I love you. Mwah.